But IT isn't just working with computer, it's working with people and, and communicating with them. That human factor is always involved. So you'll need to have those skills. Your IT certification is just, I need the skill, I'm gonna make this computer work. There's not a lot of soft skills that go in that, opposed to an associate's degree where you're generally taking those general education requirements that usually do have a speech component or a communications course that you're gonna have to take. My name is Mike Smalley. Uh, my title is System Administrator. I'm responsible for uh, the servers and the network of the organization, both internal and public facing side, like the website and things like that, me and my team. We basically spend our time making sure that everything stays up and running. Aweber develops and manages opt-in email marketing software for small businesses. So when I was in high school, uh, you know, we'll say middle of high school, uh, I was um, fairly introverted. Um, I didn't really come out of my shell yet. In high school, I took an aptitude test, and uh, I did not fall into this career path at all. And the reason for that was that my math skills weren't necessarily as high as my uh, liberal arts skills. Um, so I was told by the guidance counselors that, you know, perhaps, you know, going into IT wasn't the best idea. So I was discouraged, um, and it was not extreme, but it was enough where I trusted their opinions enough to change my uh, not change my major, but to go to school for business instead of for IT. I went to a local community college um, to get my business administration degree. Once I acquired the degree, I started doing some soul searching, and I think I hit the level of maturity where I realized I can do this as a job. What's stopping me? What, what somebody told me a few years ago. So I then decided to switch gears, and I was very lucky in that the uh, credit union that I worked for had positions available in their IT department, and I started on the help desk there. Um, after I received my A-plus certification, which is a general entry-level IT certification. So I did a total of maybe a year and a half of uh, tech support. Around 2007, I wanted to get more into networking, so uh, it was at that point that I decided to do the uh, CCNA certification. It's the Cisco Certified Network Associate. Last year, I had, we had an opening for a system administrator. I posted the ad and I started doing my job, recruiting, looking for candidates. Um, I think Mike found us through a Craigslist ad. And what spoke to me about his resume is, number one, he had the correct skills. And that's obviously very important when looking for somebody for a technical job. They need to have at least the baseline technical skills. Beyond that, his cover letter screamed passion. I expect an interviewee to interview me as much as I'm interviewing them. I want them to ask questions. He did a lot of that. I want, you know, them to ask, you know, state what they're passionate about, state what they're, what they're in it for, what do they want to see out of it, how do they want to see their career grow, things like that. And Mike did a very good job. So a systems administrator isn't strictly networking. Um, you also manage servers and you manage, often desktops, I manage the deployment of all of our iMacs here at Aweber. Um, so system administrator is very broad, which is nice because every day I come in here and it's something different. The specific projects that we're working on are um, automation of our systems. What that means is making it so there's less hands-on work done and getting a server up and running and uh, more you can just plug it in and it works. Um, to put it very simply, that's basically what automation means. Um, that's really our primary goal right now as an organization is automate, automate, automate because um, the more we can automate, the less time we have to spend on configuring technical things and the more time we can spend on things that benefit the customer. Intrinsic motivation is definitely key to taking, excelling in this particular career path. Like keeping tabs on what's going on in the industry, who are the big players, what technologies are being researched, how are things evolving. You have to be interested in following through that way and really educating yourself in a continuous fashion. With entry-level system administrators typically start in the 45 to 55k range. That depends a lot on the size of the company and the scope of the, the work. With mid-range, somebody with say three, four, five years experience, salaries typically range between 65 to 75 thousand dollars. Once somebody is a senior system administrator, depending on the company and again the scope of the work, starting salary is about 85 thousand dollars. That 40 to 45 hour week can extend and, and, and sometimes does, um, not often, um, but um, sometimes you'll spend five, six hours on a Saturday fixing something, but it's not very often. It's maybe once every two, three months. Um, so it's definitely a nice work week. 
So in my free time, um, I'm a musician, I like to play guitar. I have a little home recording studio in my basement that doubles as a lab with all my servers and things like that. There's a shift going on that I've noticed in the last few years. The IT guys of, the, of yesteryear were always you know, sitting in a basement just typing away and they weren't seen and they weren't heard and they were, they were the liability. They, they kept things running, but they were always in the background. I think as technology moves forward, they're in the forefront and they're the ones making the decisions. They're more outspoken, they're more outgoing, and I think that's becoming more and more important. Nowadays, being the extrovert and being outspoken and having an opinion is definitely a huge advantage in technology. I've made so many great friends. I mean, pretty much all of my friends are people I've worked with in the past five years, and I still stay in touch with most of them, and uh, we'll hang out in the summertime with barbecues and all meet back up, and so you definitely make long-lasting friendships in the field. I think there's going to be more women moving into technology over the next few years, but I also think it takes a woman who's comfortable working in a, in a boys club because at this point and in a lot of companies, technology is still a boys club. I still to this day don't deal a lot with math. Um, there's analytical thinking, something I do have to work a little harder at, I feel, you know, because I'm such a literal thinker in terms of, uh, uh, I prefer the written word to looking at an algorithm or an equation. So um, that's a little bit of a challenge for me still, but it's not impossible, you know, and it's something that if you're passionate enough about it and you put your mind to it, you can do it, you know, and that's what I decided to do and I'm doing.